morning guys it is finally finally saturday and i am excited and i'm standing in front of my window topless so i gotta be careful because i'm sure my neighbors probably can see me because my curtains are a little open if you want to see they're open but anyways i'm standing here for some good lighting so i just wanted to say good morning it's time to make coffee it is saturday and I am just excited. It is a beautiful day too. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Um, maybe I'll go somewhere. I don't know yet. But we'll see. Okay guys. So I'm walking the dogs at the airport again. I've got both of them with me. And it is kind of a hot outside. It's probably not the best time to walk them. But I like to walk them around the time that I normally do, which is a little, almost close to in the morning. But um, just so that they're tired for the rest of the day, you know, versus walking them more later in the afternoon or evening or whatever. Probably better to walk them in the evening because it's more sh shady and less hot, but I don't know. We'll see. But today we decided to walk them early. I'm glad to be outside. It's nice and fresh air. It's at least a little windy. It's hot but windy, so so that's good. I have Junior. He's like attached to my hip with this leash here, which wraps around my um, waist or stomach or whatever. And then it has a dog leash which extends more, but I'm not doing it more because he likes to walk in the middle of the street and he's gonna, God forbid, get run over if I don't reverse the car behind me. So I keep him halfway here. Zeus is on this little lead thing, Madrigger, that extends I think to about 16 feet because he likes to smell everything and I feel like this leash has been a lifesaver. I don't know why I never thought of one before. I recently got it about like a month or two ago so it's been really helpful. So you can see it's actually quite nice today, beautiful day, um, which I'm glad because yesterday was like raining and just quite an ugly day kind of and then I've got our water bottle here for me and the dogs to drink Junior's carrying the water bowls on him and yeah we've got harnesses see this loves to go far and smell everything and with this it's nice because you know I don't have to constantly stop with him constantly pulling me and stopping every five steps this way he, we can still walk and he can stop and sniff something if he has to and then you know He'll continue walking after which i think he kind of likes because he knows he can go far but he's got like a limit to how far he can go junior you being a good boy yes you are my puppies so yeah so we made it to the end of where we usually walk like right over here and yeah it's a nice view of the water over there i'm just chilling here with the dogs a little bit i gave them some water windows open let him in there if he wants to sit and yeah it was a good walk much needed walk but it is hot now and at least there's some shade here for the dogs to see you can sit you want your bed here so you can sit a little bit yeah okay so I got him his bed since he's a spoiled brat and then he's sitting there so I'm gonna let them rest for a little bit let them catch their breath and then yeah so i only have like one dog bed which is a small one which he doesn't really fit on so this one goes in the car for when we go on road trips there's at least a bed for one of them i plan to get like a second bed like this for him to put in the car which let me show you real quick to put in the car here is where i put the small dog bed 
bed and then I want to get another one for here for Junior to sit comfortably in. So if I had both, I would have brought the other one out for him too, but I only have just one. So yeah, but he doesn't care. He doesn't mind sitting anywhere. He'll sit. This one is a little monkey. Spoiled. Is this? Wow, you actually looked at me when I called you for once. Hey guys, so we're in the car right now. There's Zussi and they both relaxed, had a good time outside, and now we're all back in the car because we're going to head home. Um, so we did actually one mile today, so that's good. So the whole length from here to there is one mile, which is <clears throat> pretty great, like one mile back and forth. So yeah, they're tired. They're going to, you know, definitely have a good time at home from being tired and relaxing and they'll just be... They got their exercise for the day, right boys? Yes. So I guess it's time for us to head home and take the boys home. So yeah, anyways, um, I guess I'll see you guys when we get home. Okay. So I'm home and I'm going to have some strawberries. I just washed them, you know, getting some bananas, but I think I'll save the bananas for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm thinking of something to do. I think what I will do while I'm here is grab this plant. Because you guys can see it's like completely overgrown and begging to be planted somewhere else so I'm going to take this plant and plant it in this other flower pot that I have right outside um not outside but I'm gonna plant it outside and then put it in the house I'll show you which one I'm gonna be planting it in so I'm gonna put this here and grab this bad boy right here so I'm gonna be planting it in here actually because this used to be a flower and it's pretty much died so I don't know what to do with it I might plant it outside where my succulents are or something thinking about it but I also need to probably replant this guy soon he's got a lot of babies that I'm going to need to take out eventually and and what's it called whatever people do propagate the cactuses the babies and stuff like that so yeah we'll be doing that later they've been doing great over here minus this flower used to be by my window and it just didn't do great I moved it up here not much of a difference um this one's already growing another baby so yeah i don't like these weird things that are sticking out i'm thinking of maybe just taking this one off i don't know but we'll see this one's growing really pretty so i planted the flower that was kind of not doing so great over here it is a red whatever nancy plant this one right here but i planted it here so hopefully it'll come back to life or whatever it needs to do. My outdoor succulents are doing great. Okay, so I've planted this bad boy over here. This one has a way to drip the water. The other one didn't, so the, mo the dirt was actually super moist, which is not a good thing. But this guy, he's looking good. I'm actually going to put him back in the front. Is that where he was? No, he wasn't. He was here, actually. The pot was in the front, so I'm going to leave him here. He can join his other family of whatever you want to call him. I'm probably going to move him actually. Whoops. More over here. There you go. He's doing good. So I'm going to give him a little bit of water just in case. And I've got this baby over here that's doing good. That is part of this guy. The cactus is good. This succulent's good. And this one's got a lot of babies, which I probably should start plucking some of them off. This guy's good. Just got a lot of cat hair for my cat. This little guy is doing good. This guy's doing good again. My cat hangs here, so sometimes there is cat hair, you know. But yeah, these are my little flowers. I also wanted to show you guys this plant that I got. Um, this is the name. I don't know. How do you pronounce it? Oh, well, Vera. I don't know. Anyways, I got him and it was smaller, but he's doing great here. Growing beautifully. Um, got some of the baby things that I have planted over here for some weird reason when it was smaller I guess so I probably should move those guys but he's doing great this guy believe it or not is doing quite nice here but I might have to move him back to get some sun because now he's cooking like he's wilting away so I'm gonna pick him up and take him somewhere else maybe by the window over there where the dishes are let's so, see i put him here for now he's hanging out with this guy i might put him later in my room 
because this guy's not getting so much sun so i might have to move or i'll probably move him in my room maybe i'll do that i think i'll take this guy and move him in my room oh god i feel like this is gonna be a disaster okay is it here yes looking cute okay i'm gonna move him to my room before i forget i also have this guy right here just chilling relaxing and he's in my mom's room with a couple of her other plants that she keeps in here okay so i have him here which is good all right so i'm sitting now after i watered my plants and everything um I watered some of them. I don't water them that often, believe it or not. I sometimes forget for like up to a week. I don't think you're supposed to water succulents and, you know, cactuses for, I mean, that often at all. I think like once every, once in a while or whatever. And they've been doing pretty good for the most part. They've been growing. I mean, they're like right there just chilling. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, they've been actually doing quite fine. So yeah, I think I might have a snack. Uh, I'm thinking about having this five core ingredient snack here. And you can see it um, says five core ingredients, plant-based protein, soft and chewy, no B.S. I don't know what that means. No B.S. Peanut butter flavor. Um, I'm hoping it's good. It was for 99 cents. So, which was originally $1.99. But I'm going to try this. It's 210 calories. Um, I don't know. Is that a lot for a bar? I have no idea. Yeah, this is it. I am not feeling this. It tastes gross. It looks like some weird thing. I don't know. It kind of tastes like raisins too. <sighs> Let me take one bite. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. it. Tastes weird. This is going to be my dinner. It is this beautiful double cheeseburger vegan patty. Yes, vegetarian vegan. So I'm excited. And then to drink with that, I paired it with this Angry Orchid Hard Fruit Cider, which has about 5% alcohol. So, which is good because, I mean, it's fine to drink this because I'm not at home and I'm not going anywhere. So, yep. I have to say, I'm impressed. And it's actually really good and really juicy. I approve. So, yeah, um... It's been a nice day actually. I'm kind of looking forward to like fall and you know almost almost said summer god no way fall and winter because I'm just like excited you know just the whole fall vibes and decorations and everything and just Christmas and I feel like that's the best time of the year honestly I'm so ready for it but what I'm not ready for is the rain so I'm hoping the rain won't come here for a while at least I don't know I guess we'll see by the way do you guys like this nail polish that I bought? looks really nice and you know i kind of like more neutral tones if you've kind of noticed mine is pink and red like those are my usual to go colors but i don't like anything crazy like bright neon colors or you know yellow pink or not pink yellow green bright purple or something i just don't like bright nail polish i kind of like more natural um neutral tones i guess i don't know anyways yeah so i'm sitting here now that veggie burger that i had freaking delicious mm, i love it it was so good surprisingly like i thought it wasn't going to taste good but it tastes good so ooh. oh my gosh i scared me i thought there was a freaking spider or something i should give him some treats too you want some treats baby yes so cute sometimes he'll just come behind me and just chill here and sometimes he'll scare me because i'll just feel like some random like hairy thing touch my arm <laughs> so funny <laughs> i love him he's such a good cat so the dogs are all tired out from like walking and everything the animals are doing good my room is nice and clean I, okay my pillow's kind of falling off but yeah room's looking good and now we're just relaxing for a bit before it gets dark and yeah that's that i guess um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um and also the i'll be posting some more fish videos i kind of recorded one of my fish that you guys will be seeing here soon it's just really nice because i kind of i liked editing it it was kind of nice to just like have my fish on the video and kind of explain about the tank they're in and their tank mates and everything so i don't know anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video say bye osric and i'll see you guys in the next one bye